Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be going over automating ticket transitions between GitLab and Jira. If you're tired of manually moving your tickets or issues from to do to in progress and finally to done, then this video is for you. We're going to set up an integration between GitLab and Jira that automates all those ticket transitions. When a commit is pushed, the Jira issue will move from to do to in progress. And then once the merge is completed, the issue will transition to done. Before we get started, here's a special offer from JetBrains. If you're looking to get a personal subscription, use the discount code bond 2 code underscore YT for a 25% yearly subscription discount. Head over to the JetBrains official site, click on store, then individual use. Make sure you have the yearly billing option selected. Then click buy on the product you're interested in. Sign in or create a new account. Then click on have a discount code and enter bond to code underscore YT. Once again, that discount code is bond to code underscore YT. To begin, navigate to your project integration settings in GitLab and select the Jira option. Then input your Jira base URL into the web URL field. In the email or username field, enter the email or username associated with your Jira account. Before continuing, we need to set up a Jira API token. Head to Jira to generate the new token by clicking on Manage Account. Go to the security tab, scroll down, and click on create and manage API tokens. Now create a new API token. Copy the Jira token and paste it into the API or token password field in GitLab. Then test your settings, and if the connection is successful, save your changes. Now I'll add a couple of issues in my to-do column. We'll use the issue IDs later when testing the automated transitions. To set up the automation rules, open your Jira board's project settings. In the project settings page, click on automation on the left-hand menu. This is where we'll configure the transition rules. We'll create an in-progress rule to transition an issue from to-do to in-progress when a commit is pushed. The trigger for this rule will be commit created, but before we can proceed with the rule setup, we need to connect Jira to GitLab. To do this, visit the Atlassian Marketplace and install the GitLab for Jira Cloud app. Once the app is installed, click on Get Started and then sign in to your GitLab account. Now we can continue with our transition rule. After selecting our desired action, we can then set the destination status, which will be in progress.
go ahead and turn on the rule and give the rule a name. Now to test our in-progress transition rule, we'll need to include the issue or ticket identifier in our commit message. For this ticket, it will be GA-1. Your branch names will also need to include the issue ID if any of your transition rules will check for branch mergers. I'll go ahead and create a new branch and push a commit to the new branch. I'll include the issue ID in the commit message. This will also work using Git. You don't have to commit from the GitLab interface. So I've pushed my commit. However, my ticket has not transitioned yet, but I can see the commit details when I click on the issue. So the reason why the ticket is not transitioning is because my GitLab project is not under any group and we didn't link any group when we installed the GitLab for Jira Cloud app. We'll fix that shortly. Back in GitLab, in the group section, I'll go ahead and create a new group. Then I'll need to transfer my existing repo to the group I've just created. To do that, I'll just head over to my repo's general settings expand the advanced section and select a new workspace for my repo, which will be the group I just created. The repo will now show up under my group. We can now link the group in Jira. Once the group has been linked, we can test the transition rule once more by pushing another commit. Now the GA-1 or splash screen issue has transitioned from to do to in progress. Let's go ahead and set up another rule for when a branch is merged. The trigger for that will be pull request merged. We'll then add a smart values if condition instead of an action in the next step. 
This will allow us to check for certain values on our action. You can read up on Jira Smart Values on this page here. The link has been included in the video description. The value we want to get is the pull request target destination, basically the branch that we're merging into. If the branch is the main branch, then we'll add a transition action to transition the ticket to the done column. To test the rule, we'll simply merge the GA-1 or splash, uh, splash screen branch into the main branch and our ticket should move from in progress to done. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like or a comment. Till next time, cheers.